save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, back in Hyrule. Playing some Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. So, the good news and bad news, guys. Good news and bad news. Uh, some of you may notice that there used to be a Golden Lionel in this area, and now there's not. And that's because I fought him, I killed him, I got these, uh, I got this awesome Savage Lionel Spear and this bow, uh, but it didn't record, so I wasn't able to show you guys me killing that Lionel. Uh, I actually killed him without even getting hit once. It was actually an amazing fight, so I feel bad. Um, but you can see my level 3 attack potion wearing off. So now I think it is working on the recording, so let's go fight another Lionel. Why not? Back to back. Let's just fight another one. Another one. And uh, this time, let's equip some heavy armor. And let's try not to die in one hit. Alright. We might take a little damage from the cold, but that's okay. Here's another golden line now. This one's got a sword and a shield instead of a spear, so. We're just going to bomb him in the face a few times, warm him up, get him nice and warm for the fight. Cookie, go someplace safe. This is about to get a little bit spicy. The biggest thing with this guy is we just have to be careful not to get hit from his sword. <laughs> Boom! Luckily, my shield is really good, so... I can do this all day, bud. All day. Don't run away from me. Let's actually use this spear to poke him. Oh my goodness, that almost killed me. No. No, no, no. No yelling at me. We got him to about half health. That's good. That's really good. Woo. Sword broke. That's okay. Okay, shield broke. That's not okay. There we go. That was a really good shield you just broke. What you got? What you got? What you got? Poke, 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 poke. Dude, I'm parrying this guy like a pro. No. Too early, way too early, way too early. I admit that one. You got me there, big boy. Well, you got. Yeah, I thought you were gonna do that. I thought you were gonna do that, bro. I honestly expected better. Blowing fireballs. That ain't gonna work on me, bro. You got that ain't gonna work either. Okay, shield is down. Shield is down. 
Oh my gosh, the mighty Lionel Shield broke in one hit? It must have been weak to begin with. Only had to use Urbosa's Fury once. I actually forgot I had it up until like the last minute, and I was like, oh yeah, I could just hit him with that. Oh, you're not that cold. Come on, man. Alright, so that was, uh, that was a golden Lionel. Fire arrow times 10, alright. Oh, 62 defense on the Savage Lionel Shield with Durability Plus. Thank you. Eh, not that good on the sword, but I'll take it. And the bow? Probably just a 32 times 3. But we'll take it, we'll take it. Um, I guess I'll drop this one. Yep, another 32 times 3. Alright, cool, cool. So, I just wanted to kill that Lionel because... <laughs> Like I said, I felt bad that I killed the other one over here without you guys getting to see it. So now you got to see me kill the Golden Lionel. That's actually the second Golden Lionel I've killed. So, Cookie, I don't know if I accidentally hit you with a bomb arrow back there, Cookie. If I did, I apologize. Things get a little bit crazy when you're fighting Golden Lionels, okay? That's all I gotta say. So now, guys, let's continue on to the final labyrinth of the game, which is this one. I'm assuming it's called, like, the Northern Labyrinth. And we should get our final piece of Barbarian Armor set, which is pretty cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't I need to take a picture of this? Hold up. I don't know if that worked. That definitely worked. Ooh, actually, that's a bad picture. That's a good one. Oh, come on, man. I'm trying to take a good picture of you. Alright, that's good enough. I had to take a picture of a step. Wait, it didn't save. Okay, that one's good. Alright, man. Oh my gosh, I actually killed the horse. Didn't mean to kill the horse. My bad. I actually wanted to ride the horse because I thought it looked cool, but... I guess that's not happening. Maybe there's another one up here. Okay, I know there's a shrine in here. I, I don't think I need the uh, shrine sensor on. Come on, come on, come on. Sometimes the map just takes a while to close out of. Alright, guys. Here we are. The North Lome Labyrinth. This is what it looks like from looking outside the labyrinth. Pretty epic. Oh, here we go again. You who have reached this point, proceed onward through the maze, and you will receive a blessing as a reward. Of course. Uh-oh, I got these coming. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. Excuse me. All right. This maze, easy peasy. Ha, you don't want me to go that way, right? Fool, that's exactly where I'm gonna go anyways. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, I won't go that way. Fine. <laughs> Just had to test it. Oh, man. So, I'm not in a rush to complete the maze because I know there's a lot of loot, like, everywhere you go. So, it's okay if you go off the beaten path a little bit. We're just kind of going random right now. Random is good. 
Random will get you to places that you normally probably wouldn't go. And hopefully we'll find some loot. And if I don't find any loot, then we're going to stop going random and we'll, we'll start doing something else. Ooh. A luminous stone. That's all I got. If it comes down to it, I'm pretty sure I can Revali's Gale and literally just go to the top and kind of shortcut out of here. It looks like we can actually look at the mini-map as well for, for guidance, which is great. Although it's probably not that useful because in the other labyrinths there was secrets that you could not really tell just by looking at the mini-map, so. Alright. So it looks like we pretty much co covered the southeast section of the diamond, so let's just keep that noted. Ooh. Found a chest. Bye bye arrows. So maybe in each corner of the diamond there's a square. Wait, what's in here? Actually, I'm gonna put my snow boots on so I walk a little faster through the snow. Nothing over here? Nothing? Very strange. Okay. Guess there's nothing over there. Oh boy, boy. Alright, so we, we did the eastern, or no, southern point. We did the southern point of the mine, of the labyrinth. Now let's try to do the eastern point. See if we can get to it. Looks like there's more than one way to get to the eastern point, so... Ooh, do I hear lizards? You don't see me. We're just having fun with this guy. I think I probably just killed everything in the in the maze. <laughs> I did the Urbosa Spear. Oh look, I can see the enemies over there. Arrows and flint. Alright, well now I know there's more enemies over here. Dude, that's actually kind of cool. Got a hunter shield. Apparently the golden boys don't even care if they're on fire. I'm trying to break all these like weaker weapons because I never really use them. Alright, we're just gonna freeze that one. I gotta be careful not to die. I'm trying to do my spin attack, but it like charges up so dang slow. Got him in a corner, baby. So much health. Freezing that other lizard just helps so much. How are you blocking? I'm hitting you on the side. No 
Those guys were kind of hard to kill, but we got we got taken care of, you know. Got some more shields. Ooh, another meteor rod too. Are you kidding me? There's another one. All right, well, let's get the chest real quick. So this is the eastern. Oh wow, that's actually not a bad weapon, and I had room for it too. This is a terrible weapon. I don't even want it. So we did the southern point, we did the eastern point, now let's do the northern point. Let's make our way there. See what we find. Gotcha. I'm just having fun with this guy, using the meteor rod. I feel like Super Mario, just throwing the fireballs. Way too much health. Pretty useful that the uh, the meteors don't actually hurt Link. Otherwise, that weapon would be kind of bad. All right, let's keep going. I'm gonna check all these spots so I don't miss anything. Another luminous stone. Nice. Nothing over here. All right, now we're in the northern point. Maybe this is the way forward. That's different. Alright, so if we look at the map, it looks like this is the way in, actually, on the eastern front. But just in case I'm not missing anything, let's explore to the west as well, because I didn't really explore this northwest section of the map. There might be stuff over here. And if not, we'll head back. And it's no big deal. And it's, it's, it's possible that the northwestern... Oops. She came right back. Actually, let's go this way. It's possible this is the way forward, so let's just explore it a little bit. Oh my mimic! That was so rude. At least I got some octo balloons. We should be coming to the other side of the blight pretty soon. Remember at the very beginning I tried going across the blight and it, it didn't work out? I think we're getting really close to that. There it is. This is the other side of the blight. Oh. Boom! Just created a shortcut, see? Oh, nice. Just created a cool shortcut. <clears throat> Gotta use this uh, 
hunter shield with three defense. Oh, nice. 300 rupees. This might actually be the way forward. So close. Yet so far. So I can literally Daru's protection is now ready to roll. Oh, now you're you're ready to root. Now you're ready. So Hold up. I wanna go this way again. The way that we couldn't because of the blight. So let's go this way. What's up? I hate you. So this is just the other side. That's the back. Alright, so I think uh, what I want to try to do is enter from this side, the eastern side, because it seems to me that that is the way forward. But we'll see. If it's not, I can always explore somewhere else. No big deal. We're kind of going the long way around, but that's okay. Gonna go all the way around this way. I'm looking at the mini map to try to like get through it kind of quick. All right, so somewhere over here, I feel like is gonna be the way. See? What is that? There's a room right there. Oh, it's a room you cannot go in? Are you kidding me? Why is it even here then? Just a knight's bow. Okay, looks like there's stairs going down though. So if there's stairs going down on the other side of that wall, we just need to get in there somehow. This might be the hardest labyrinth yet. Which is awesome because it's the final labyrinth, so I would hope it would be the hardest. Although you don't have to do the labyrinths in this order. I feel like this is the final labyrinth because there's three golden lionels on the way, right? So the other the other labyrinths didn't have any lionels near them, I don't think. But we will find it, guys. We will find it. I feel like we do need to keep going the way we were going. Because even though it's like a square or a diamond shape, the fact that you have to go around it in one direction, kind of, like because of the blight at the beginning, they want you to go around it like counterclockwise. So I feel like the ending of it should be somewhere near the beginning in that regard. Alright, let me take a look. So... Alright, you know what I just remembered, guys? There was malice in more than one place. There was malice in another place, and when I when I shot the eyeball... I probably killed the malice in the other place, too. So we need to find where that other place is. I think it was up here somewhere. So... Let's backtrack a little bit. Well, 
let's look down here. Baby, oh yeah, we found it. Whew. That was hard. All right, we found this. Oh wait. What is that block down there, man? We didn't even see that. That's all right. I'm not worried about the block. All I want is the shrine. Boom, we made it. But wait, that's not all. What is up here? Ooh, three treasure chests, that's right. Sapphire. Topaz. Last but not least, diamond. Ruby, okay. Not bad, not bad. Kazaa! Toki Shrine! That was a hard labyrinth, man. That was really hard. Mostly because after you kill the Malice, you have to know to backtrack and, like, find that little... little pathway, man. I, I totally forgot about that. Once I remembered the... The, the other malice we saw, and I kind of remember where it was, that pretty much helped me beat the shrine. Otherwise, it would have taken forever, man. Alright. We got Blessing. I would have rather a trial, but that's okay. This should be our final piece of Barbarian armor. Let's go. Barbarian leg wraps. So if you want to see what the full set of Barbarian armor looks like... It's not that flattering, in my opinion, but there you go. Definitely barbarian-ish. Um, it does uh, level 3 attack, so that's really good, but... Other than that, I don't think I'm going to use it too often. There's other armors that have attack up as well, like... Um, the Fierce Deity set, and also some other Abibo set, I forget. How many spirit orbs? Hey, we get another heart container. Nice. Actually, before we end this episode, I'm gonna go to the Great Power, Great Fairy Fountain because we really need more fairies and we need to level up our ancient armor to level two so I can get full ancient proficiency. So, awesome guys, we beat all three of the labyrinths in Zelda. And now look, the the metal gate is down. Awesome. Cookie waited so patiently for me. Um, but now I'm going to go to the fairy fountain. Let's go to this one down here. I hope this one has fairies at it. Because I got none. And when you're fighting gold idols, oh, excuse me, you definitely want some fairies. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, feels good to get out of the cold climate and get, I guess it's still a little bit cold, but down to the ferry. Looks like there's some ore. I'm going to guess they're luminous stones. They always put luminous stones around uh, points of interest, you know, because at night they glow. And then Oh, maybe, yeah, yep, Luminous. You're, you're attracted to the glowy ore. I feel like Nintendo made the Luminous Stone on purpose to help guide the player to places they want them to visit. Alright, I see fairies. We must equip our stealth armor. Fairy! Got one. Got two. Got three! I'll take the mighty thistles, why not? 
I think there was one more fairy too. A couple silent princess. One more fairy. Ooh, we got four fairies. Nice. Oops. Yeah, don't want to go in the giant lady water. Mmm. Mmm. I thought I detected the fragrance of a young man nearby. So, you have some clothing you wish to enhance. Uh? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Let's see. first. First things first. I need to upgrade my what? ancient armor. Mm. And I also want to upgrade my ancient helmet. Then they'll both be level uh? two at least. Hmm. Ah. Then I'll get uh, the set bonus, which the set bonus for the ancient armor is ancient proficiency up, which means I do even more damage with ancient weapons when I have the full ancient set of armor equipped. Let's see what else. Ooh, these ones you upgrade with Lino. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's upgrade the ancient greaves. I don't really... Uh, the ancient mm. armor is like the best armor in the game, so I just want to level it up as much as I can. Mm. Skip, skip, skip. <laughs> I... I think I need to grind more. Oh no, I can. Uh, let's do the body then. I, I don't have enough to do the helmet level three, mm. but let's do the uh. let's do the body. I need two more ancient cores. Let's see. I haven't upgraded the Radiant armor at all because honestly I'll never use it probably. Mm, let's upgrade. Oh man, I could upgrade these to level four. I need star fragments. That's actually pretty awesome. Let's upgrade the... What's the level 2 Barbarian set do, I wonder? Well, these are pretty cheap to upgrade, so let's just do it. Mm. Only one Lionel horn? That's nothing, man. I got plenty of Lionel parts. I... Let's do the Barbarian mm. level uh. 1. really would like it if you could upgrade multiple things at once, but hey, you know. I already got the level 2 helm. So I just need to upgrade the uh, the armor what? and the feet again. Mm -hmm. which, which I can. I don't remember what the set bonus is for the barbarian uh -huh. armor, if it even has one. It's probably something not that exciting, otherwise I think I would remember it. Hmm. But let's get it anyways. Uh. Might as well, seeing as we got the full set. Uh. Alright, um, anything else I want to upgrade? Desert Vo, I would like to upgrade as well as the Soldier's Armor. Just because Soldier's Armor does so much defense. Mm. Let's do the uh. Desert Set. Just in case I ever go to the desert again, I'll have a really strong set of armor. I... Mm. Ah. Ooh, I need more ice key, key swings. All right, all right. <laughs> um... Yeah, we can upgrade what? the snow pill head. Mm. Why not? I think that's probably it. I'm gonna save off upgrading the soldier set just because it uses lino parts and I want I probably need the lino parts to upgrade um yeah this stuff, the the barbarian set, which is probably better to upgrade. In fact 
I probably can upgrade this whole set to level three. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Barbarian uh. set level three right off the bat. Why not? <laughs> Doesn't do that much defense, uh. but mm. killing all those Lionels paid off, I guess. Level three mm -hmm. barbarian set, uh. right off the bat. <laughs> All right, now I'm good. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. So we got four fairies, and we upgraded a bunch of armor. So let's see what the set bonus is for the barbarian set. Charge attack stamina up. That's weird. So, it just lasts longer for me to do this, to do spin attacks. So that's useful, actually. Um, and then let's see the ancient set. Ancient proficiency, boom! We got two pieces level 3 already, just need the helmet level 3. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, I think that's that's about all we did, right? I don't, I don't even remember. We got the desert bow upgraded. That does shock damage. We got full level 3 snow quill. So we're rocking level 3 on most of our stuff. I need level 3 stealth. And climbing. Very nice. Alright, um, I think I'm going to summon some amiibos now. So I know it's kind of a boring episode where I'm mainly just like upgrading stuff and summoning amiibos. But hey! It's just part of the game. It's part of what we got to do to prepare for the next battle. So I'm going to summon a bunch of amiibos. If you guys want to stick around and see what I get, awesome. Woo! See what I mean? And if you don't want to stick around, well, then thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode, guys. I don't really need two uh, meteor rods, so I'm just going to drop that one. Actually, I'm going to walk a little bit away from the Great Fairy Fountain so we don't hear the music. Oh, wow. Big uh, camp down there of enemies. about bomb blasting but since I had Revali scale might as well use it yeah this looks like a better spot all right I'm gonna summon wolf link just to keep enemies off me in case they spawn some good shields. Fighting those Lionel broke all my shields pretty good. That was Champion Urbosa's uh, amiibo, by the way.
Oh my gosh. Another Twilight Bell. All right, well, we got some pretty decent loot from the Amiibos. Uh, we got another Twilight Bow, which is really cool. That's probably the coolest thing. And we also got, oh, this one has uh, durability. That one has quick shot, so very cool. If you guys don't remember the Twilight Bow, yeah, it's pretty freaking cool. Look at that. Shoots beams of light. Look at that, like a shooting star. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you in the next episode. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.